with Botticelli's Venus, it's a it's a monumental painting. It's a large painting, life size or larger. Um, it's in the Renaissance. They're coming from the Middle Ages, and they're having a lot of uh, debates with Christianity and rediscovering the humanism of ancient Greece and the importance of it. And with the Botticelli, we have, we actually have a break with Christianity because he's doing a, a monumental painting that's really well thought out and well crafted, but there's no uh, religious, uh, there's no Christianity involved in it. So it's um, pro-human about the beauty of humanity. Uh, and he's taking the Venus legend, which is you know born from the sea, so it's quoting part of the literary history of ancient Greece. Um, the uh, Praxilis uh, sculpture of uh, Aphrodite was in the collection of the Medici, and Botticelli got to uh, use that as a reference. So his Venus is based on that sculpture. And then we have the, the individual stylistic elements of Botticelli. Uh, Botticelli has a style that once we've seen it, it's Botticelli, it's not anyone else's. And that's noticed in the fingernails of the, the way the hand, the very delicate hands. Uh, we see that in the um, delicate lines around the eyes, uh, the nostrils, the curve of the mouth. And there's a, a, a very subtle but interesting point is that the individual style of the Botticelli, by implication, is stressing the, um, that the artist, by their style, becomes unique and individual, and that the artist is important. So this is um, a precursor into the, the power of Michelangelo and da Vinci really driving that point home. But we see it subtly in that Botticelli has this very unique style. It's not a cookie cutter style. And it's being supported and encouraged by the Medici who's commissioning the piece. Um, so we see a break with Christianity. We see uh, quoting um, both visually and literally the uh, ancient Greeks. And then we see um, the, we actually also see the birth of artist as a genius, uh, the concept that the artist is a, is a master, and we see that subtly in his, his stylistic individuality coming through.